Hello and welcome to Chemistry with Mr. Olson. Today we are going to draw some molecules with their partial uh, charges. And for this it may be helpful to remember when two elements have a similar electronegativity they share equally. But when the difference is greatly uh, greater, intermediate, then we'll have a polar covalent bond. And that's the type of bond that water has. An OH bond has the uh, partially negative oxygen, partially positive hydrogen. For large electronegativity differences be between metal and nonmetal, we get full ions. So, um, useful for this is our properties of solutions uh, worksheet where we worked out the electronegativity difference for several pairs of elements. And we also noted where the bonds were polar covalent. In other words, an OH bond will have poles, an NH bond will have poles, but a CH bond or a CC bond will not, nonpolar covalent. So let's get some practice drawing molecules. Let's start with uh, H2O. So we remember, of course, honk one, two, three, four. So hydrogen makes one bond, oxygen makes two. Um, and we also are going to mark the partial positives in red and the partial negative oxygen in green. And that's water. Now for the sodium ion, it is a full-fledged ion. The whole thing is positive, so we make that green. And the chloride is an anion, a negatively charged ion. It's also an ion. We make it green because it's negative. Now let's do, um, let's do methanol. Here we've got CH3. So there's CH3 O. H. Put in our lone pairs for oxygen, and now let's put the charges in. Oxygen, being the more electronegative, is going to have a minus, partial minus charge. And the bonds, of course, it, the, that gives hydrogen a partial positive, also the carbon a partial positive. And there's methanol. So it's got a, the hydroxyl group is very polar. Formic acid, C O O H. Oxygen, of course, has double bonds, and the the carboxylic acid group is attached in the case of formic acid to a hydrogen. Let's put in the partial negatives in green for the oxygen. And Oxygen pulled the electrons away from the carbon and the hydrogen gives them partial charges. Carbon tetrabromide. So we've got carbon attached to four bromines. And bromine being a halogen does have three lone pairs. And now let's see what the polarity is of this bond. CBr carbon electronegativity of 2.5, bromine 2.8. So the difference is 0 0.3. That is a small difference. It is nonpolar. So we do not draw, since these bonds are all nonpolar, it is a nonpolar molecule with no partial positive or partial negative charges. Okay, lastly, ammonia, N, bonded to three H's. And the NH bond, the nitrogen, like oxygen, relatively electronegative, so it has the partial minus, whereas the three hydrogens, they have the partial positives. There we go. So that's how we make our molecules, diagramming them 
with the appropriate charges. Where the bonds are polar, we put in the polarity, and where the bonds are nonpolar, we don't draw the partial positives and negatives because they don't exist. So, hope this was helpful. Ta-ta!